What exactly is the percentage shot in golf? If I were to play this shot 10 times, how many of those shots would be successful? We often refer to the percentage shot as being something that's much more functional, much more useful on the golf course. But what really is it? Now we quite often refer to the shot as something like chipping out the trees, so chipping out into the fairways, or you use a shot to get to the fairway to then make an easier bogey. But how can we use the word percentage to actually help us on the golf course and actually weigh up what's good, what's bad, and what's gonna help us get better scores? Imagine I've got like a really small gap to feed the golf ball through, so there's like two trees in the way, and I'm gonna go for that shot. I fancy getting through that gap. I could chip out into the fairway and then have an easier shot for my next shot, but today I really fancy that shot. And I get through that gap. It doesn't quite get back to the fairway, but I've got up there and I'm still in the trees. Was that the right decision to make? So when I'm presenting myself with a decision on the golf course as to what club to play or what shot to play, what direction to play for a given shot, I think to myself, if I were to play this shot 10 times, how many of those shots would be successful? So if I'm trying to get through that small gap and squeeze it back around the trees back into the hole, if I were to really try that shot and pull it off on the golf course, I could probably do it three times out of 10, which makes it a 30% shot. If I were to chip out into the fairway to give myself a nicer shot into the green, I could probably do that nine times out of 10. Ergo, a 90% shot. So what's the scenario of the day that we're playing? Are we under pressure? Are we in a competition? Are we just having a bit of fun with our mates? And if I was having a bit of fun with my mates, I would probably go for the gap. I'd probably go, yeah, I'll go and give it a go. If I mess it up, I mess it up. It doesn't really matter. So I'll go and do the same thing. I've started it through the gap. I've left it left, not as far left as the time before. But if I was in a medal or a stable foot that had a bit of weight to it, that sort of feeds into my handicap, maybe I would choose to play that nine out of 10 shot instead. And I literally think about the 10 shot rule every single shot that I hit. If I'm on a jolly and I'm just playing with my mates, I'll probably smash drive around the golf course and not give it too much thought as to where it's going. I won't really worry about the results. I'm not really bothered about my score. I just want to go out and have some fun. But if I'm in match play or if I'm in stroke play and I need to keep my score together or I need to beat this other person that I'm playing against, it's gonna change the decisions that I make. If I'm three down with three to play in a match, for example, and I find myself in the trees and I'm having to decide whether to chip out or not, it might depend on what the other person has done as to what I do with this shot. If they've messed the hole up, I might go for that nine out of 10 shot to try and squeeze them. If they've stuck it really close to the hole, I might go for it because if I mess it up, I've already lost. Although. I did spend about three years, maybe more, unbeaten in match play. I don't really have to worry about that. There we go, I finally got it. Through the gap and moving back to the hole. That took a few to go. So if I was to do that 10 times, it is a three out of 10 shot or 30%. When I'm eyeing up like a smaller shot around the edge of the green, so 50 yards away from here, if I was just to play this 50 yards straight at the pin and maybe there's like a bunker on the right hand side, if I was to go straight at the pin, could I sneak it into the bunker on one of those 10 shots? If I really think about what I generally do on the golf course, could there be one that goes in that bunker? Do I want to risk it? Do I want to play so I don't go in that bunker. Do I wanna play pin high left to avoid it? So I might play my 50 yard shot. I might go to the left of the hole because nine times out of 10, I'm not gonna hit that bunker. I'm gonna hit a more successful shot on the golf course. If I'm stood here with a driver and I've got 325 yards to a par four, but it's quite protected by bunkers. If I go for it with a driver, am I gonna have a horrible second shot that's quite difficult to play? If I realistically hit 10 drives at that green, I might hit it, but I might miss it in the bunker as well. What's the scenario? Am I playing with my mates? Am I trying to show off? Am I trying to avoid a big number on the scorecard? Or am I trying to chase someone in match play? What am I trying to do? What am I trying to do on the day? If I hit that, if I try and go for that 300 25 green that's surrounded by bunkers 10 times, I'm probably gonna hit the green twice. I'm probably gonna get two out of 10. If I was playing in a PGO Prime, for example, could I lay up to leave myself 110 yards in, which is my favorite yardage? How many birdies am I gonna get laying up to my favorite yardage against going for the green and not knowing what the next shot's gonna be? Am I playing in a competition that's two to four days long? Am I gonna have to do the same thing two to four times? Which shot am I gonna hit that I can then also hit the next day that I can also hit the next day so I can get some form of routine, some form of feedback for the second, third and fourth time that I play that shot, play that tee shot. Again, when I'm having a jolly with my mates, no problem, I'm gonna stand there with a driver and give it a bash. <laughs>
And I've pulled it to the left-hand side. That's probably wider the bunkers anyway. What trouble is there? What trouble could I get into? If I'm gonna get in trouble two times out of 10, it's probably not the shot to play. If I'm gonna hit a four iron off the tee to leave myself a number that I like for the next shot, am I gonna do that eight times out of 10? I will choose that eight times out of 10 shot if it's under pressure, if there's something meaningful to that round of golf. Well, I'm finally getting the launch statistics I want. Oh, what a lovely combo. Ventus Black 6X Velocore, lovely. All I really need to do is start it right of target for it to move back into the green. Even with putting, when I've got the putter in my hand, say I've got like a downhill fiddly putt. If I hit that putt 10 times, how many times am I, do I think I'm gonna hold it? How many times do I think I'm gonna miss it? If I miss that downhill putt, is it gonna run past the hole and leave myself a horrible putt back? Or could I do something that gives me a more like an eight or nine out of 10 success rate in terms of the next putt. One thing I do like to do when I've got a downhill horrible putt that might run past the hole and give me a horrible one back is if I strike the ball off the toe, right off the toe there, it just deadens the strike and it doesn't let the ball jump off the face. It doesn't give it too much roll down the hill. If I just do everything as normal and go bop off the toe, it just kills it. Can I do something like that that just brings it into an eight or nine out of 10 shot instead of a two out of 10 shot? Again, in stroke play, in medal competition, I want the nine, eight, nines and tens out of tens that I feel like I can do. I don't want to be hitting shots that are a two out of 10 success rate because I really want to be able to give myself the best chance to make my best scores. Now, if you imagine this is the green and the pin is here, if I hit my shot at the green and I hit it into the middle of the green, I've got a not bad putt. I'm going to putt from this area on the surface. I've got more chance of holding that putt than I have one that's off the green to the edge here. Maybe I'm slightly closer to the hole in this area. However, I've got to do a horrible chip maybe there's something in the way here maybe it's got a little bit of a slope maybe it's a very difficult shot have I got a chance of holding that shot with a wedge from off the green I'd much rather be in this area around here in terms of my decision making and club choices coming into the green so I've got something around this area at the front of the green on the left of the green so I've always got a putt from that that area we can't hit every shot perfectly we're not always going to hit it bang on the pin I'm looking at what yardages I have into the green have I got a club that definitely goes short of that pin. Yes, lovely. I'm going to try and hit this section of the green to give myself an easier putt to the hole. I don't want to choose a club that might reach the hole, but it might just fall a bit off the back. So I don't want to risk having this shot coming into the green because that's a horrible chip to have. Just think about the shots that you're playing on the golf course. Think to yourself, if I was on a driving range doing this shot, how many times out of 10 would I do this shot successfully? Give yourself a number. It's more of a feeling than anything, but the more you do it, the more you start thinking, oh, okay, I'll go for the eight out of 10. I don't want the three out of 10. Hopefully this will help you make some good decisions on the golf course and maybe start bringing the old scores down.